Hi friends, I welcome you all here at TNV Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about the clause 7.2, competence of an international standard ISO IEC 20000-1-2018, Information Technology Service Management. In this session, we shall cover all the requirements of clause 7.2, competence in detail along with appropriate examples for your comfort. As the requirement of the clause 7.2 depends upon the requirements of clause 6.2, service management objectives and planning to achieve them. I would like to recommend you referring clause 6.2 of ISO 20000-1-2018 also for better understanding of clause 7.2. In this session, we shall discuss about subclause 7.2 competence in detail let's discuss about the outcome of this session after completing this session you will be enabled to determine the necessary competence of persons doing work it will also help you to ensure that these persons are competent on the basis of appropriate education training or experience you will also learn taking actions to acquire the necessary competence and evaluate the effectiveness of the actions taken. After completing this clause, you will also learn how to retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence. Now, let's have an introduction of clause 7.2 competence. Let me simply read the requirements of the clause 7.2 competence of the standard first. 7.2 Competence The organization shall Point 1. Determine the necessary competence of persons doing work under its control that affects the performance and effectiveness of the SMS and the services. Point 2. Ensure that these persons are competent on the basis of appropriate education, training or experience. Point 3. Where applicable Take actions to acquire the necessary competence and evaluate the effectiveness of the actions taken. Point 4. Retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence. Note. Applicable actions can include, for example, the provision of training to, the mentoring of, or the reassignment of currently employed persons, or the hiring or contracting of competent persons. Now, let's start with the clause 7.2. Competence defines the guidelines that must be followed by all staff in order to be considered competent of the requirements. In other words, this procedure ensures that all employees are performing to their best ability in their specific areas of expertise. Now, what is ISO 20000-1 competence procedure? The purpose of competence procedure is to define your organization's process for undertaking the necessary actions and responsibilities for ensuring that the competencies needed to meet customer and other external or internal requirements applicable to the business are defined and actions are taken to meet these needs. This procedure also defines the responsibilities for planning, reporting and retaining associated records. Now, coming to assessing staff competencies. Your organization should establish a process for assessing existing staff competencies against changing business needs and prevailing trends. Check for evidence that all staff which work under your organization's control are competent and that evidence continuing competence is maintained as documented information in accordance clause 7.5. Competency requirements can be defined by actively identifying training requirements, actively delivering training, actively monitoring the effectiveness of training. Training should never be performed as a thoughtless reaction with no actual objectives but instead it should be boosted towards empowering 
each employee with the skills and knowledge they need to move the organization forward and improve customer happiness the staff should be trained to improve their skills and overall performance comparing existing performance to post training performance is a simple way of evaluating the efficiency of training you can consider making provision for the following audit questions what training is given to new employees how is training evaluated what steps are taken when training is deemed ineffective what types of training records are maintained here we have a question should i document competence according to clause 7.2 you need to retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence so keep documenting your competence training and awareness process and since the competency of your staff is vital to achieving product and service conformance you should always look to define and control this process the implementation of a competence training and awareness procedure should be a priority of all businesses now i would explain you the process of writing non conformities please see the auditor finding action report and see here on screen auditor finding action report and see afar number 1 date company process it management clause 7.2 competence standard iso 20000-1 2018 category major slash minor non conformity observed including objective evidence requirement 7.2 competence the organization shall point 1 determine the necessary competence of persons doing work under its control that affects the performance and effectiveness of the sms and the services point 2 ensure that these persons are competent on the basis of appropriate education training or experience point 3 where applicable take actions to acquire the necessary competence and evaluate the effectiveness of the actions taken point 4 retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence note applicable actions can include for example the provisions of training to the mentoring of or the reassignment of currently employed persons or the hiring or contracting of competent persons non conformity evidence during the verification of competence of service management objectives there was no evidence of appropriate technical degree available to network engineer was found however the network engineer was an experienced expert in the field of networking and communication auditor signature auditee acceptance root cause analysis the management was aware of the service management objectives and requirement of degree holder network engineers in organization since existing personnel was highly experienced and capable to resolve the network issues so was appointed correction it was decided by the management that arrangement of higher studies for network engineers must be done by organization corrective action all technical persons who are not having an appropriate degree though having good experience must be arranged for a degree program however degree program could be through online or distance education mode so that they could work simultaneously responsibility top management mr proposed implementation date corrective action plan accepted addressed by assessed by date verification of on site closure to be verified in the next assessment cycle assessed by date now let me talk in brief about the common mistakes auditor do while auditing it is highly recommended that being an auditor you should avoid some common mistakes like reporting of findings without verifying evidence ignoring the facts 
asking irrelevant questions to organization and start consulting activities with the client etc auditors should avoid these kind of mistakes which are very common in nature doing the audits dear friends we have now come to the conclusion of this training session see you soon with an exciting new topic till then goodbye